Hello my dear friends everybody tells us to become successful in life we need to set goals but nobody tells us how to achieve them in this video we are going to explore how to set the goals and also achieve them so let's get right into it personally i set many goals in my life but most of the goals i set i failed in them and that led to anxiety depression feeling that oh you are setting goals but you are never achieving them i also started feeling that okay i may never achieve them. Before we get into how to achieve our goals, let's analyze why we actually fail in achieving our goals. Here are the three reasons why we can't become successful in achieving our goals. The number one reason is setting unrealistic goals. For example, setting a goal to become overnight millionaire is something unachievable. Or setting a goal to reduce weight within one week. When we set unachievable goals, automatically we fail. We don't even have to think about it. We know it is not possible, but we think, okay, maybe, maybe. Ideally, we already know we cannot achieve it. Number two is because we don't have a plan. When we set a goal, we need to have a plan how to achieve it. If you don't have a plan, you are just thinking every day, I want to achieve that goal, I want to achieve that goal, but we never achieve it because we don't know how to actually reach it. The first two are very easy to set, but the third one is hard because even if we set achievable goals, even if we have a plan to execute it, if we don't actually do it, we will never be able to achieve it. Now that we know that why we can't be successful in achieving them, here are three things as I told you at the start how we can actually achieve them. So the first way to achieve our goals is to actually set something very achievable. See, when we want to achieve something big, it takes a lot of time. We cannot expect something to happen in one day or one moment. For example, if we want to achieve financial freedom, it won't happen in one night because we have been accumulating all the problems we have for so many years and within one night it cannot happen. So that's why it is important to set a goal for like five years or six years based on your current financial situation. And that's when you'll be able to do that. Or if you want to reduce weight, it won't happen in one night. Even if you get liposuction done, it will take at least one month to show the results. So it is important for us to give that time to achieve that goal. Plan is not about like, okay, within 15 days, I will get this done. It is not like that. It is like breaking down your big goal into small goals. Let's again take the example of financial freedom. If we want to achieve financial freedom within the next five years, then the first thing we need to do is, if we have loans, we need to clear them. And second thing we need to do is save 80%. Third thing we need to do is invest. By setting short goals, we gamify the whole process. When we are playing a game, it never takes us to the final stage because the final stage is always hard. So it's a learning curve and we have to go step by step. The task will become harder, harder, harder. And finally, we'll get to that final big goal we want to reach. So it is important to break down that big goal into smaller goals. First, we'll finish the easy parts. Then we go to the little harder parts. And finally, we go to the most hardest part. And after all of this is done, the result would be very fruitful. And we would enjoy that dopamine high we get when we finish that game. In the same way, we will get the dopamine high of reaching that goal. Even if you set that goal, even if you plan it, it does not matter. Because there is no execution. One day you do that push up and next day if you don't do it, there is no point. One day you pay off a little loan and next day you are taking another loan. Then we will never achieve that financial freedom. Sometimes even if you don't have a plan, but you have that uh, consistency in executing that, you will at least be able to achieve something. And also remember, you don't have to be hard on that plan because we don't know. We can only make the plan, but it might not be possible to execute that exactly as is. Keep it flexible and make adjustments whenever required. If something is not working, you can change that a little bit and improve it. If you deviate too much, you will never be able to execute it. If we follow these three steps, 100% we can achieve our goals. Since the time I realized the importance of planning, everything is planned. I have set certain goals broken down into multiple steps. I also kept the load minimum so that I don't be in pressure in every time I want to execute that plan. It is also something about building the habit. And if you build a habit, it becomes easier for us. Irrespective of how our day is, 
where we are it does not matter we will execute it so try to integrate that small small goals into our daily life so that automatically we do it we can achieve that with a lightweight sense we don't have to worry about how oh, this will happen or not and also we will not have lot of pressure on ourselves and this is how we can achieve our goals hope this video is helpful thank you very much for watching this is tarun josh signing off see you take care bye bye